Hey, what's going on guys? Turtle Bertie here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over multi-layered items. Now, what I mean by this is an item which has two layers, so the texture is made up of two different textures, um, and they are both put together in the game. They are not baked together, meaning that um, you can still tell that they are different layers. If you have a pixel on the edge, um, then you may get some Z fighting um, because they're not baked together as one texture. They are still two different textures. Um, but basically, this is extremely useful. Now, I have been working on a compass mod, and instead of making uh, 30 two textures for each compass I decided I would use layers so I created all the pointers and then I only need one texture for the actual compass and I just put those two together and boom uh, I got my item so I'm going to be basically showing you that um, the best example in game currently of this is spawn eggs uh, they use two layers the the front layer which is um, the the colours, and then the back layer, which is just the white spawn egg. So yeah, um, you can have as many layers as you want, I believe, though I might be wrong, um, and it is actually much better performance to have uh, multiple layers. I don't know why, but it just is. Um, that doesn't mean you should have multiple layers for every item, it just means... Um, if your item makes more sense with multiple layers, use multiple layers. So, um, I'm going to register a new item for this because I don't want to mess up uh, any of my... Actually, we don't have a texture for my seed item. So, yeah, because we don't need to register it any different than a normal item. So, because I don't have a texture for my seed item, I'm going to go into my models item and find my seed item JSON. Now this is basically just a normal JSON, except instead of having just layer one, we add a comma on the end, we copy it, and we put, we instead of layer zero, we change it to layer one and get rid of the comma. If you want more, you just copy this one, paste, 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 and you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I would assume that there is a maximum. Um, I want to guess there's maximum of 256 because 16 by 16 is 256. So I would assume that might be the maximum because that's the maximum amount of pixels you can have in a 16 by 16 texture. However, that could be wrong. There might not be a limit. The limit might be your GPU. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise going above 16 layers. Um, I think that's excessive for any item. Um, you're never going to need 16 individual layers. Even Tinker's Construct. Uh, that's a really good example of multi-layered items. Um, but they don't go above like six layers um i mean you've got to think about all the modifiers they have but even then you can't really the texture doesn't change a lot beyond a certain point so i'm just going to be having two layers so layer zero and layer one um and i have two textures so if i just refresh i've already put them in uh you just create your own textures but I've got part one and part two right here. So for layer zero, I'm going to have my part one. And um, for layer one, I'm going to have my part two. I actually should have named it this part zero and this part one. In fact, I'm going to do that just because um, it's just better, better practice really. So you've got part zero and I will rename this to part one and then I've just got to change it back here part zero 
part one. That just keeps it consistent. Obviously, as I say, if you want multiple layers, you just add one on the end. Layer two. Tutorial. Mod. Items. Slash. Um, def underscore item, for example. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep with the two layers. Um, and that is it. That's literally all it is to a multi-layered item it's super simple so I'm now going to run the game and we will see it in the game okay so guys I am now in the game um, as you can see here is my seeds um, it's hard for me to show you that it is actually uh, a multi-layered item because there's no visual difference um, but basically I will show you what's the different layers here so these these parts around the edge is layer uh, one and this part in the middle is layer zero um, I will just show you that real quick so if I just open paint.net um, uh, it's not going to do it is it okay let's actually open paint.net then um, just to show you that uh, there is two different parts there um, because there's no real way for me to actually show you so if I just file open recent we got part two which is now part one oh yeah because I renamed them okay open please don't bring it to the wrong place thank you there you go part zero part one wow paint up yeah sorry if everything's really slow right now because I am editing a video at the same time uh, or rendering it so yeah this is part zero and this is part one so it basically just combines them and I mean you can't tell that that is a different texture um, other than if you do look at the little lines there which is a Minecraft bug by the way you'll see that of any item if you do look through there you can see the blue is there on the edge um, so obviously uh, that is the only visual difference really other than that you really can't tell um, so yeah I mean it for a singular item which you know you're wait, why am I still on barriers <laughs> wait what <laughs> I don't even have my boots in here I don't even have my boots on me why am I still on barriers? Stop! <laughs> Go away! Why wouldn't it leave me? Okay, that's definitely something I need to fix. Um, oh yeah, because I just did it. Yeah, okay. I'm a bit stupid, aren't I? Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's very, very hard to tell that it's a multi-layered item. I would use it on an item like this. Uh, if it's something like Tinkers, then you might want to use it. Um, I think it's more useful for if you're doing item properties which is something I'm going to be showing soon so I'm gonna have a video on item properties very soon um, and that is basically like the compass and the clock where it has the uh, angles um, and all that jazz so uh, yeah, this is very laggy. I've never recorded with uh, my editing software doing its stuff before. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this, this short and simple and hopefully very useful tutorial. Um, if you did, you know, be sure to uh, hit it, hit that like button, hit it, hit it, hit it, um, and subscribe as well because why not? Uh, if you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it, because um, I'm sure lots of other people will find this useful, or at least I would think they do, because I find it very useful. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in uh, the item properties video. Goodbye!